Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. It's the season of Lent, and today we feature a non-meat dish appropriate to the season. Here now is today's host. Hello there. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Today we have a special gentleman in the kitchen. He is Dr. Maynard McIntosh, who has the distinction of having been the first Grace Kennedy Scholar. Dr. McIntosh, we're delighted to have you as guest you. on our program. Tell us about, about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I'm from here in Kingston. Oh, all uh, the clock? Yes, all the clock. What school did you um, attend? Arden High School. Okay, okay. What sort of um, assistance or what sort of contribution do you now make to, 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 to other recipients of um, the Grace Kennedy um, Scholarship? Well, actually, um, I've had colleagues from Ireland who, who I think it was two actually, who yeah. won the scholarship. Yes. But uh, most of my mentoring is done um, in athletics. Okay, <laughs> in okay, beautiful. Where beautiful. I actually mentor quite a few students. I actually um, managed the team at Arden. Okay. And mm -hmm. now I'm working with seniors. I was even a part of the master's um, athletic program. Okay, so. okay. And the dish you're preparing is actually a very healthy dish. Tell us healthy about the dish, dish. you're doing. Well, actually, it's a, a, it was kind of driven by the discovery that um, the Grace Jack mackerel had so much protein in it. Mm -hmm. And in searching for a, a, a good source of protein and combining it with the right carbs and so on, I came mm. up with this recipe yes. using some uh, boiled sweet potato I had left over from the day before. Yes. So I just, you know, decided to crush it up, do a little thing with it, and add my uh, Grace Jack mackerel mm -hmm. and make an interesting kind of one pot um, dish that I could even carry to work with me and pop in the microwave. After all, okay. Okay, today we'll be making Grace Jack mackerel casserole, a meal that was inspired by the high protein content of Grace Jack mackerel. And I'm using that in combination with my main base, which is sweet potato, already boiled, crushed, and actually we had the egg, two eggs rather, and some reconstituted milk added. I'll just go ahead and add cinnamon, which will kind of spice it up a bit. Okay, and I'm going to just transfer this very manageable sweet potato to my casserole. Now the sweet potato is a great, great idea because apart from being a very good source of carbohydrates for the active lifestyle, I'll kind of just spread it around evenly. There we go. Now while this is going on, we have actually have over here some vegetable oil to which I'll add olives, tomato, onion, cut in rings for better presentation, some diced sweet pepper, and I'll just lightly saute this mixture so that all the ingredients are actually cooked ingredients. While this is being done, I'll just maybe turn this on off so that the heat will continue to do its job there. This is Grace Jack mackerel, and I certainly like the flavor. of it and this is a whopping maybe close to 100 grams of, of, of protein in this in this dish and to this I'll just add and see how the rings of onions just fall in place there you have it very 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 colorful if you choose to you can add a little salt for those who are not hypertensive um, but the cheese that we're going to add afterwards actually has a salty flavor to an extent. So we'll go ahead. All right. 
and we'll just grate the cheese evenly to sort of complete the what is the last layer of this casserole. Okay, I think that's enough. So I just lightly sprinkle some brown sugar at the top. Again, you don't have to do this if that's not your preference in terms of presentation. Right. So there you have it. This is your Jack Mackerel casserole in the rough, ready for the oven. And I prefer to use the oven on broil because that way I get my color on top. So I'll just place this in the oven. Set it on broil. It takes about 10 minutes or less, depending on how much color you want and if you want the cheese to melt or you want it to sit. Hi, doctor. Hi. Yeah. Broiling is perfect. You know, you get that even color going across. The cheese melts, you know, and, and you get quite a crunch, eh? Yes. Really. Um, and can you imagine that mix with the, the pinch of sugar that you added with cheese? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mouth watering. All you really need to go with that meal really is a salad. Let us go over and look at the dish you prepared ahead of time, eh? Come, just look at it. Um, here the, the yes. meal is presented. All you really need to have with that is uh, a refreshing drink and uh, um, some I, tropical uh, rhythms. Oh, oh without a doubt. <laughs> here we have it. Um, Tall glass of ice. Oh, sure. So all you need to have with this is maybe a vegetable, a fresh vegetable salad. You know, or just bleed in a bit of lettuce. Oh sure. Then you're good to go. Mm -mm. Satisfying, filling, and, and and different. And you know, here again, you're making use. We use um, or or jack mackerel. You mm. used sweet potato as a base, but uh -huh. we're saying that if you didn't have sweet potatoes, you know, we could use a yam, soft yam, Bit soft yam, green yes. bananas that are boiled and crushed. You know, mm -hmm. other starches that we have we could even do some turn cornmeal, you know, yeah. and arrange it at the base, <laughs> yes. right, doctor? Right. That's why my mother used to do a good job at that. One. Okay, perfect. Cornmeal, yeah. And those meals were always satisfying, and so yes. we always went to school with a full stomach, right? Eh? Uh, um, doctor, I want to thank you for sharing this meal idea. It was really thank a pleasure. You. Can thank we invite you. you to come again? Oh, sure. Okay, fine. Thanks so much, doctor. Here's a food and kitchen tip from Grace. wraps up our show for today. Thank you for staying with us. We look forward to hearing from you. We invite you to call, write, or email us at Grace Kitchens. That was Creative Cooking presented by Grace Kitchens. One in the series of programs featuring dishes appropriate for the season of Lent. Tune in next Monday morning at 7.35 on Smile Jamaica with a repeat on Sundays at 2.20 p.m for creative cooking on TVJ. Don't miss it. <laughs>